The next step in my new route design is to create the earthworks and to do that I need a template. A template can be built from a variety of different sources either by modifying an existing template in the Bentley Rail Track library or creating a new template by starting from a scale drawing such as this. For this exercise I'm going to collect up the key points from the scale drawing and import them into the Bentley Rail Track template. I create a new level called Template Points and then collect together my key points by digitizing them from the scale drawing using a smart line. And this process is repeated until all the required points have been gathered up. The final smart line I add indicates where the origin or center line of the template should be. Now turning off the scale drawing, I'm left only with the key points shown on the screen. Now I want to import those key points into a Bentley Rail Track template. So I've finished with drawing and go to Bentley Rail Track. Open up the modeler, create template, file, import template, apply, close, and there are the points imported into a template ready for editing. And the first step is to rename my template. Next I need to set the template origin. So I select this point here and then set that as the origin. Now what I want to do is join up all of the key points to form parametric components in my template. Add a new component, constrained, called formation left, goes to 11, goes to 15, and finish. And then repeat this process for each of the components that you require in your template. I now want to add a point here which is going to be my origin. So add a component, null point. I want to make sure that I'm going to put it in at the origin, so I look at the coordinates for 0, 0, and there it is, point 113. Go and edit that and call it center line. These null components can then be accumulated in the reports that we generate for the quantities at the next step in the process. The next job is to go and edit the relationships between all of the points to look at the constraints. So if I switch over to constraints now, what I want to do is I want to start from the center line to create point number 12. So if I go on to point number 12 and edit that, at the moment it has a relationship to 11. Whereas in fact, I want its relationship to be controlled from the center line. So I set the horizontal and vertical relationship relative to the center line, zero horizontal offset, and 0.6 negative, so 0.6 of a meter down. For point number 11, I want that to have the relationship to point number 12. And then repeat this process for all of the points in my template. Once the editing is complete, I then perform a quick test to make sure the template is working properly. Here is the template with the permanent components turned on. And if I use the draw button, you can see the surface as I move it up and down, the template automatically modifies itself. That seems to be working properly. So all I need to do now is save the template and close. For my project I've created a series of templates, one which is for cut and fill. Here you can see all of the points in the template named up. If we look at the tunnel template, here is the tunnel template, what you see is the tunnel outline represented as a series of faceted points. And finally the viaduct template which shows the cross sections for the viaduct sections of the route. And that completes the template editing.